All right, so in this video I will be showing you guys how to run SLI with uh, two RTX 3090 graphics cards on the EVGA SR3 Dark motherboard and obviously with resizable bar support. But obviously this video applies to many other like motherboard models out there like X299 platform or the C621 or C622 platforms that support multi-GPU configurations much better than the Intel mainstream platform, so to say. But yeah, so currently I'm running two RTX 3090 uh, Kimping graphics cards from EVGA, the SR3 Dark motherboard with the 28-core Xeon CPU from Intel and two power supplies because I didn't plug in enough of the uh, 8-pin PCI Express power connectors on my main power supply, so I'm running a secondary 2000 watt power supply from EVGA for the second graphics card. Now obviously a single 2000 watt power supply can power all this but you need at least six or seven 8-pin PCI Express power cables to run the whole system. So you need three cables per graphics card and I would recommend you plug in the supplementary 6-pin power connector for the motherboard when running like 2A SLI or a higher configuration. Obviously with the most modern generations of graphics cards from Nvidia we cannot run higher configuration than 2A SLI anymore. So it's either a single graphics card or 2A SLI. But when running 2A SLI I like to plug in the supplementary 6-pin power connector for the PCI Express bus anyways. So that's seven PCI Express power connectors in total. So that's quite a lot from just a single power supply. Custom water cooling on the CPU and uh, the stock AIO coolers for the graphics cards. Now, uh, in order to run resizable bar support, you need a resizable bar supported bars for the motherboard as well as for the graphics cards. When it comes to motherboard, I'm running the uh, version 1.06 bars for the SR3 Dark, and you can find that particular uh, bars version from EVGA downloads website. The uh, resizable bar uh, supported bars for the RTX 3090 Kimpin is available from the EVGA forum so just check that out. I will try to put all of the uh, links for the downloads in the description box uh, of this video so uh, you can use those links uh, if I put them to uh, find the required things like the BIOS versions and so on. Now uh, the uh, thing about the SR3 Dark is that uh, uh, if you want to run both of the cards at X16, and you should, because now with the RTX 3090, there's actually a visible uh, uh, impact on performance uh, when uh, the card is running at, at uh, X8 or X16 with PCI Express 3.0. So there's actually a visible drop in performance if the card is not running at X16. So uh, when you turn on this system for the first time, like clear, CMOS and so on, the second card will always show up as X8 because the uh, PCI Express slots 4 and 6 are, they are shared with the secondary uh, LAN chip of this motherboard, so the X557 LAN from Intel. So if you keep that secondary uh, LAN chip enabled, it will take half of the PCI Express bandwidth from the slots 4 and 6. So if that secondary LAN is running, the second card will always run at X8, no matter if it's plugged in the slot 4 or 6. And of course you need the you need the SLI bridge, so that will obviously restrict which slots you can run because you cannot bend this uh, like fixed SLI bridge, so it's the same. So we so currently I need to run the cards on slot one and four. So uh, oh, to to have internet connection, as this board doesn't have Wi-Fi, we can only use the uh, stock or the main. Uh, LAN on the board, so the uh, it's the uh, Intel i219-LM LAN. So it's the uh, Ethernet port that's above the two USB 3.0 ports. So we cannot use either of the two separate Ethernet ports because those are the X557 LAN ports. And if we uh, keep that enabled, 
and we plug the Ethernet cable to either of those ports, we will lose half of the PCI Express connections from the second graphics card, so it's the same. Now uh, I will show you all of the needed uh, settings in the BIOS and we can then check how the system looks like in the operating system. So now from here I will switch onto the capture card and I will uh, uh, meet you again in the BIOS. Okay, so I just landed in the BIOS, so let's just press yes to enter the setup. So advanced configuration, enter setup. And you can see BIOS version 1.06. So this BIOS version supports resizable bar for uh, the latest graphics cards from NVIDIA. So now I will just load my uh, profile and, and we can go through the settings. So uh, just uh, 4.7 on the CPU, but of course this doesn't really matter for uh, the uh, resizable bar support in SLI. So you can see, so when you first turn on the system, you can see over here that the first card is running at X16, but the second card is running only at X8. But this is normal, don't panic. So even if you see X8 over here, that doesn't mean that your second card doesn't have like proper contact. It's because of the third party or the secondary uh, LAN chip on the board that's sh that shares half of the PCI Express bandwidth from uh, the slot uh, 4 and 6, so to say. So now we will go to advanced and uh, here we need to enable both of these settings to run resizable bar support well with the RTX 3090s. So we need to enable the resizable bar support obviously and uh, we need to enable above 4G decoding as well. So not just one of them, we have to enable both of them, so it's the same. And now we will go to onboard device configuration and we disable the Intel X557 LAN that uh, shares half of the bandwidth with the second graphics card because we want to run even the second graphics card at x16 at x16 with these newest graphics cards there's actually a visible performance difference between x8 and x16 even with pc express 3.0 so just saying we don't want either of the cards running at x8 we want both running at x16 so that's pretty much it you don't have to touch any of the other settings so now i will just the uh, Save the profile and uh, I will press F10, save and exit, and we can check that it runs just fine in the operating system. So F10, save and exit. Okay, so I just landed in the operating system and here you can see in CPU-Z I'm running the Intel Xeon W3175X from Intel. 28 cores, 56 threads at 4.7 GHz. Uh, SR3 Dark with the BIOS 1.06, so 26 of January of this year and only uh, 32 gigs of RAM because I don't have uh, the last two memory channels populated at the moment but anyways so uh, here if we open GPU Z we can see NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 so two cards currently looking at the first graphics card uh, driver is 466.47 from May NVIDIA SLI is enabled, so two GPUs and resizable bar is enabled. And if we uh, look at the second card, we can still see SLI enabled and resizable bar is also enabled. Sometimes the GPU Z bugs a little bit and it doesn't show resizable bar being enabled for the second, graf uh, for the second graphics card, but I'm not like fully sure what's the reason behind that. It's, is it like real? thing that it's not being uh, used for the second card or is it just a bug in GPU Z? Don't know. But yeah. So uh, uh, if you want the performance boost of resizable bar for your target uh, application, like uh, for example if we want to run uh, free mark for Royal and uh, we want the uh, performance boost of resizable bar for that uh, particular uh, uh, application, we need to use something like uh, NVIDIA Inspector to uh, enable the uh, profiles for that particular uh, uh, application. So now I just opened up uh, 
NVIDIA Inspector version 2.3.0.13. You can see it reads the driver version correctly. Now uh, we will go here and we will type in 3D Mark and we will select 3D Mark Port Royal DLSS. That's the uh, Port Royal DLC for the 3D Mark program. So we will select that. We will uh, tick this. So uh, show unknown settings from NVIDIA predefined profiles. And uh, we will scroll down. So uh, just scroll down until you go to unknown part. And here the 17 profiles is the resizable bar thingy for uh, any target uh, application. So uh, we will uh, select all of these three 17 profiles options and we will just select the only uh, available options. So Battlefield 5, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, yada yada yada, etc. So uh, the same setting on uh, all of these three options and we will apply changes and now uh, you are pretty much good to go for that specific application and you should see the performance bump of resizable bar support like properly so now you can we can just run the test but that's pretty much it so uh, it's actually a little bit tricky uh, I was using uh, like a test pass pre previously and with that pass I couldn't run the main uh, Ethernet properly at all so the IE219-LM so uh, it's very annoying because we want to keep X16 on both of the cards uh, and we cannot maintain X16 on the second card if we keep that secondary uh, LAN enabled so it's a little bit tricky to get SLI running on uh, at least on this platform so to say but yeah so if you uh, found this video helpful and if you like to see it then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah thanks for watching one of my videos once again I will be doing some uh, SLI tests next and uh, stay tuned for that video and thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one